Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. It looks like Taika Waititi may be developing his own Star Wars film. By developing, we of course mean directing. And this is an interesting move if it does happen. This isn't confirmed, this isn't 100% happening that he's getting his own Star Wars film. But he has been approached by Lucasfilm, and this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter, who I would say out of everybody pretty much has the creme de la creme of inside sources. Now, Taika Waititi, if you recall, he has directed films like Thor Ragnarok, Jojo Rabbit, and most recently in the Star Wars universe, Episode 8 of The Mandalorian, the final episode of Season 1, which was great. I mean, I thought the whole season was amazing, but his episode specifically was a really good one as well. It makes sense that they would approach someone like Taika to direct a Star Wars film, because at least looking at his work in The Mandalorian, he seems to get the... The Star Wars vibe, if you will, the first scene in his episode of The Mandalorian was just two scout troopers talking and kind of doing their thing. And some people found it boring, but it really set up the place that you were in at the moment for the rest of the episode, honestly. And it really kind of took the story into a different direction when you actually get back into the action and back into the main story. His episode was fun, but it was also intense, it was action-packed, and there were some moments that slowed down, there were some emotional moments. It was a great episode, and I think he would fit in the Star Wars realm. And I think it's interesting that Lucasfilm has been using The Mandalorian so far, kind of as a... I, Hollywood Porter puts it as a testing ground, but and I would kind of agree with him in a way, because if you look at what they're doing with all the directors from The Mandalorian, they have very interesting developments later on with their careers at Lucasfilm and in Star Wars. Jon Favreau created the show and it seems like he's going to have a more active role in the development of Star Wars projects in the near future. Dave Filoni was using The Mandalorian kind of as a learning experience on live action development with a producing role and a writing and directing role. Then you get Deborah Chow who directed chapters 3 and 7 I believe. And she's going to be directing the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Like, that's her own project right there that's starting production this summer. And then you have Rick Famuyiwa, who was directing two of the episodes in season one, uh, chapters two and chapters six, I believe. And he's coming back in season two to direct even more episodes. And now we get the Taika Waititi. And one interesting thing about this, is, and I've said this before on the channel, is that Lucasfilm, I call it a bad habit, but they have a habit of going for the really popular directors of the time. And right now one of them is Taika Waititi. But to be fair, he also has worked on Star Wars. He also has been involved with Star Wars now. And people really responded well to his project, Episode 8 of The Mandalorian, the final episode of that season. So it makes sense that since he's worked on Thor Ragnarok, he's going to start production soon, I believe, on the new movie Thor Love and Thunder with Natalie Portman. That's going to be coming out in 2021, I think like November of 2021. And so if we're doing the Star Wars film with Taika Waititi, when is it coming out? And is it going to be in cahoots with Kevin Feige, who's supposed to produce a Star Wars film as well alongside Kathleen Kennedy? How's that going to work out? Because I think they could work together really well like they did for Thor Ragnarok. I thought it was the best Thor film at least that we've had out of the three. And I'm not a big Marvel fan by any stretch of the imagination. But that one was fun and enjoyable while also having, you know, a story to be told at the same time. So it would be interesting to see how this timeline works because it's not like Taika Waititi has an open schedule. He has a film coming out in 2021. If we're assuming that he's coming out with the next Star Wars film which comes out in 2022, I mean, that's a really short turnaround for a film. I mean, if they start production for his film, in Star Wars at least, in 2021, then sure, that makes sense. But that's next year. I mean, you gotta get the story right, you gotta get the script growing soon. It just is one of those things where I really wonder how his schedule is going to work for something like this, because I know there's other projects that he's involved with. I think there's an anime that he's doing, and just he's a busy guy. And so I think he would make room for Star Wars, of course, but that's one of the cool things about him working with Disney and Marvel, is that Disney also owns Lucasfilm, so I think they could work around his schedule pretty easily. And I find it a little curious that they're approaching him out of all the directors that we've had from the season one of The Mandalorian. My question is, is he going to be working on the 2022 Star Wars film? And if he is, is it going to be set in the High Republic era of the Star Wars universe like it was rumored to be set in? And if that's the case, then it makes sense that he possibly could be working with someone like Kevin Feige. Because Kevin Feige has a good tendency of setting up future films and setting up kind of a 
storyline across multiple films, not just a trilogy, but maybe four or five films in the Star Wars universe could be tied into each other. So if Taika Waititi does a Star Wars film in 2022, set in the High Republic era with Kevin Feige co-producing, then you have a start to a new storyline set 400 years before what we've seen in the Star Wars universe with possible stories that could be really interesting. If you start that story in 2022, and then let's say we have a new trilogy that comes out, let's say the Ryan Johnson trilogy happens, and that's also set in the High Republic era, and that's also kind of following the outline that Taika Waititi and Kevin Feige set up for the future of the story that happens in the High Republic era. Just a lot of possibilities with Star Wars has been opened up recently, and I think who is going to helm it and how it's going to be written and directed is going to really determine the shape and the future of Star Wars within the next 10 to 15 years. I'm interested to see on who Lucasfilm picks. If it's Taika Waititi, if it's someone else, I would like that they're kind of operating a little bit in-house. And I also like to think that a lot of this is the cause and um, almost the reaction to The Mandalorian Season 1 being so successful. Uh, to me, that just shows that Jon Favreau has a really good eye for talented directors and people in the Star Wars universe. So... Can't wait to see what they do. I hope Taika Waititi... I, I'm not going to say I hope he directs. I'm not a big fan of his work, personally. I don't think he's the uh, grade-A director of our time or anything, but I like his work in the Star Wars universe. I think if he has a good producer and a good writer, specifically, alongside him, we could have a really good film from him in the Star Wars universe. But who knows? Only time will tell. Tell me your thoughts below. Do you want Taika Waititi directing a Star Wars film? Do you not? And when do you think his Star Wars film will come out? I'm Star Wars Only. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time, and may the Force be with you always.